Hi guys, welcome. Today I wanted to do a review on the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. Uh, real quickly before I start, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, people who commented and liked the video. It means a lot. It lets me know what you like. And with that, let's get started with the review. So I won't go over all the specs. You can Google those online. I'm here to kind of show you what the rifle looks like and how it's going to shoot today. Obviously, you can see some upgrades on it. Um, I changed out the pistol grip. This is a Hogue. Uh, rubber pistol grip. I also changed out the uh, stock. The one that came with it was super loose. It was flimsy. I wasn't feeling it. So I went with a Magpul CTR. So it locks and then it shifts like that. I also put a TRS-25 by Bushnell on this. It's mounted on a UTG riser uh, that co-witnesses with the Embus sights. And then I also have a Magpul strap to carry with it. Uh, so it comes stock with these Magpul Embus sights. They're plastic. Uh, they seem to work pretty well. When I was shooting them earlier, when I was kind of sighting this rifle, and I was seem to be getting pretty accurate groups um, at 50 yards, about two inches in diameter pretty consistently with these. And when I put the uh, little red dot on, I seem to be doing about the same. There wasn't much difference. So these next few shots are just stills I've taken from another video showing the both iron sights and with the 3OMOA, I believe, TRS. You can see I'm getting about the same size grouping. What was the hardest thing was seeing accurately at those 50 yards with the iron or with the scope. A couple of things I noticed about this gun is, one, I wanted to replace the grip. When you take this grip off, if you're familiar with AR, the AR platform, you may notice that there's one spring in here when you take the pistol grip off an AR. When I took this one off, there were actually two in here. So that's something to be uh, aware of. Also, if you're familiar with the AR platform, this rifle's based on the AR platform. It pretty much just looks like it, right? Like this whole, with the buffer tube, this is all one solid molded piece of uh, plastic versus the ARR, you'll, you'll obviously have your lower and then your upper and your other pieces. It does function and feel like an AR and that's kind of what I like about it. Let me just give you guys some more kind of, it has the M-lock front end there. I'm gonna show you guys some more close-ups of it. Another thing I noticed was it gets pretty filthy quickly. This is only after about 40 or 50 rounds, not much. I mean, that's kind of what happens with the rimfire platform, especially semi-autos, but this one just gets particularly dirty inside. So we'll see what it looks like after I put a few hundred rounds to it during today. Um, other than that, let's get started shooting. See you guys like it. Cor and of course, I'm gonna be shooting a combination of this Winchester M22, so a little bit more high-end ammo, and this Remington Golden Bullet, more your bargain stuff. All right, let's load up. And for today's shooting, we're gonna hit some clays, some steel plates, there's some Dr. Peppers on top of that log. Some more steel plates in that tree over there, you can't really see, there's a couple bags of flour, we're gonna see how that is. That one, it's a kind of a moving trap. I pulled this drawstring coming to me, that trap rolls down. So we'll see how the M&P 1522 does with all this. Okay, let's work on this tree over here to the right a little bit. Okay. It's a fun gun. I think the main thing that drew me to this gun was that it was the AR looking, AR platform, but it was 22. It's really easy. Obviously the main competitor is the uh, Ruger 1022. I went with this one just because I wanted this platform. The Ruger probably has way more aftermarket support, but this was just so fun. All right. Let me reapply everything, then we'll go again. All right, let's go from this point of view.
I missed that one. Let's keep going. Couldn't find my red dot. Now I've got it. All right. Reload. All right, we're gonna take this round a little more zoomed in. You can't see as much of the rifle. Hopefully you can see more of the targets and everything set up. Okay. All right, one, two, three, go, I guess. Better that time. All right. No more flour. It's getting loose. All right, let's try that long one. Stretch ourselves a little bit. Got him. Done. Hey guys, so my overall review of the gun is I love it. I think it's worth the money, even though it is a little bit more pricey for some of the other 22, especially AR-based guns out there. I think this one is probably the closest AR-based, short of buying a 22 LR conversion kit for your already existing rifle or AR-15 rifle. This one's just easy to point. You can see some of these last shots, how easy it is to bounce back and forth. It's cheap, it's fun. I would absolutely do it again. There's a lot of other guns that are fun out there too. I just think the Smith & Wesson does a great job of it. All right, guys, so before you go, real quickly, I want to show you this. This is after about 25 mags or so. So it's only about 250 rounds for me. You can see it's just filthy in there. But that's to be expected. This is shooting the uh, Winchester, oh, let me focus, Winchester M22. So I just wanted to show you that. It'd be a little cleaner in a bolt, but overall you're getting a rim fire. That's about what it'll look like. Alright guys, 